Hi guys and welcome to another 7 minute lecture. I haven't done anything on movies in a week so I thought I might as well do that on a Sunday. I've actually not done anything on books either for a while so maybe I should do that soon. Anyway, I want to touch on one of my favorite genres in cinema. Something I'm sure is a favorite for a lot of other people as well. War movies. It's one of the richest categories of cinema. particularly cinema shot in the english language so the transatlantic cinematic tradition hundreds maybe even thousands of war movies exist who knows while we obviously can't touch on all of them i thought i would do a mount rushmore style concept for this so my four favorite war movies firstly what do i consider to be a war movie i would only consider movies that fall into a narrow space to be a part of this the main narrative has to be about war and the primary setting of the story has to be a distinctly war time war like setting so even though lawrence of arabia is my favorite movie i wouldn't add that here because i wouldn't consider that to be quote unquote a war movie that's a biopic about a guy who happened to be involved in warfare For this reason I wouldn't add something like Casablanca again one of my favorite movies ever but the setting is not militaristic enough for me to consider it a war movie even though it's the greatest war propaganda movie ever made and even though the story in every dimension is linked with the second world war I would still consider it more of a love story than a war movie I would disqualify movies where the war scenes themselves are simply meant to add to the atmosphere rather than being the crux of the story so the good the bad and the ugly is one of my favorites and it's set in the backdrop of the civil war and there's even like a 40 minute war sequence but it's a spaghetti western it's not a war movie per se so the following are my picks for my four favorite war films that fall under this category i can't put them in order of preference so i'm just going to go in alphabetical order First up Apocalypse Now I'll definitely do a video on this for the entire movie somewhere down the line but right now let's just talk about it quickly if you wanted to know what a visually stunning movie should look like it's Apocalypse Now whether it's the scene with the helicopters just bombing the hell out of the Vietnamese jungle or that creepy scene where their boats enter the tribal village and there's smoke of different colors and dead bodies hanging from poles and the ominous music all of it still works even today joseph conrad's heart of darkness is said to be a huge inspiration for the story and while one can see the similarities it certainly its own story as well to display the madness of war and the chaos of war on the one hand while simultaneously showing us the sort of the machismo and earlier of war and the whole grandeur of war with the ride of the valkyries scene i can't think of any movie that manages to capture both the small details and the large details the way that this movie does second bridge on the river kwai this was directed by david lean the same person who shot lawrence of arabia it was filmed in sri lanka which i always thought was cool it's got one of the best battles of will in cinema the stubbornness of the british clashing with the imperialist japanese the way alleginus first goes through all kinds of hell to make sure the officers don't do manual labor to build that bridge and the way he then takes up building the bridge as a challenge and a point of british pride and the good guys then become even more fanatical about building the bridge for the japanese than the japanese themselves and then that ending where there's a major mess up and it all literally just culminates in madness everything about the movie is brilliant it's got a great cast it's got great uh, production the whole colonel boge whistling while they march all of it deserves sort of uh, its own place in the hall of fame of war movie cinema third and once again this is just my personal list it's not meant to be objectively the best four war movies ever made my number 3 on this list would be inglorious bastards i think two of tarantino's best characters tarantino has many great characters and bill might be my all time favorite but two who come really close are hans landa and aldo rain and i think it also has two of be uh, tarantino's best scenes uh hans landa's introduction 
which is almost like the angel eyes intro scene from the good, the bad and the ugly, although far more complex. That's one. And the other is the one in the pub with the whole King Kong game and the tension building up and the German major realizing that these guys are putting on an act because he signals three doing this instead of this. The movie isn't as heavy as the other two, not as deep as the other two, but it's still worth it just for the Hans Landa character, his dialogue, his motives, his analysis, the tension of whether he actually knows that that girl is Shoshana all along. Just a great war film overall, if you ask me. And rounding off my Mount Rushmore is another relatively fun war movie than a deep one. I had to think about this a lot because I wanted to include a non-English war movie as well, just to add some non-Western perspective. I love No Man's Land, which is the Bosnian war film. Kurosawa has made some awesome Shakespeare-inspired war movies like Ran, Throne of Blood, Hidden Fortress. There are great German war movies like Das Boot, Downfall. But ultimately, I just had to follow my heart and go with a Hollywood classic. I have to go with The Great Escape as my number four. I mean, come on. Steve McQueen, Charles Bronson, James Coburn, Richard Attenborough, James Garner, Donald Pleasance. This has to be one of the most fun movies ever made with one of the best casts. The camaraderie between these guys, the schemes they pull off to escape, and the final hour of the movie, which is just so tense, with some of them getting caught and some of them escaping. I like this movie so much because it proves that a great war movie doesn't always have to be dark and brooding and violent and philosophical. It can just be a fun film and still be a great war movie. There's a lot of nail-biting suspense, don't get me wrong, but it's still fun. So tell me what you guys think. I know many have their own favorites in the genre, Saving Private Ryan, Platoon, The Deer Hunter, Parts of Glory, Dunkirk. Many masterful filmmakers have made many masterful war movies. And I'd love to hear what your Mount Rushmore would look like. If you like this video, please don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you. Take care. And I'll see you soon.